Assalamu alaikum. I am Yasin. I am 10 years old. And I'm his mama, Mariam. And this is another review for Georgia Muslim Homeschoolers YouTube channel. Today we are going to be reviewing science comics. We're going to be reviewing science comics. The science comics are each authored by different people. So if you look, if you're looking them up, um, they're each authored by different people. So just type in science comics. Yeah, you know, the thing is that, so all of these we got from the library, and in our library system, even when I looked up science comics, I guess it depended on who inputted them into the computer system, because not all of them showed up under science comics. So what might be helpful is to just have a name of the title of it, uh, like if you just Google the title of it or Google um, the author or whatever and then that way you can search that as well to see what your library has because I didn't know that we had as many as we do have in our library system because of that same thing. So these are really great. Um, these are obviously my favorite. Yes, they're, they're, I was going to say they're comics, <laughs> but they are your favorite. Yasin definitely loves them. Yes, because I like comics, I like reading, and I also like how they break down the stuff you like how they break it down yep I especially like the science comics about dogs you like the dogs one because i'm scared of dogs and i'm getting over my fears good um so we have right now we have four of the science comics <laughs> yeah we have, <laughs> we have four of the science comics but we have borrowed several of them over the past year yeah. and a half or two um we recently discovered them uh, and have added them to our homeschool so that we can learn about it. They had one about like plagues and stuff, which was really cool. You read um, that twice, I think, right? I read it thrice. You read it thrice, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are these science comics difficult to read? No. No. Do you take a long time to read it? How long does it normally take you to read them? Well, it really depends on how much time you have. Yeah, so how long does it take you? A few days? A lot of, if you have a lot of time, one, one hour, pretty much an hour. An hour? You can you can read through the whole thing in an hour. About an hour, an hour or two. Sometimes okay. thirty minutes. Because if I read them, I... oh, if you're rereading them, <laughs> then you can just kind of skim a little faster. Uh, yeah. Okay. The the illustrations are really really cool. Different uh, ones have cool illustrations. Yeah. This one is about robots and drones, past, present, and future, which is pretty cool. Um, that dogs. one's about dogs. This one is about trees. Spiders. Spiders. We had one about plagues. There's one about bats. There's one about ravens. There's one about dinosaurs. There's yeah. one about coral reefs. There's one about volcanoes. There's one about so much more. Yeah. There's a there's a there's a good selection. So if you are learning about a certain topic or want to just don't know about enough about it and you want to learn a little bit more, start your knowledge base. I guess. Um, with it, then this science is a, comics. yeah, science comics is a good one. <laughs> comics, okay. comic cool. <laughs> Are there any warnings that you would give readers? Any things that might scare them, upset them, anything like that? What? Well, sometimes in comics, should I show it? Yeah, you can show stuff if that's scary if you want. Something really funny to say. Ready to say it? Say it. Please hold. We'll be with you <laughs> shortly. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Couldn't find it. Okay. Uh, it was only in this one that you were looking for something scary in? Did the other ones have anything that upset you? No. Yeah. It really just depends on what you're reading about, because they say different things about different things that you might know is not tr not true, or maybe you know that they're telling false information. Oh, do they s tell false information in here? Like what? What? I what don't do know. You... It maybe, but maybe you know different information, and they, you know that some of the information in here isn't true. That's all I can think of. Like, what, what example can you give me? What example are you thinking of? What was it in here that you were looking for? To lean the over creepy and... part that was like a spider biting a man's head. 
Oh, okay. So that's why you were saying, like, you don't know if you dreamt it. So you couldn't find what it was that was scary about this. Is there something scary in all of them or, or something that would upset people in all of them or is just that one that you imagined maybe? This one that I maybe dreamt. Okay. How about the other ones? Have you seen anything that upset you or might upset someone else? I remember seeing something. Um, they have stuff here. And the one, the only thing I can think of is this one. Somebody might think it's like a person with no head with a robotic arm. Okay, so it might might scare them in that way. Okay, so maybe some of the illustrations for younger audiences. Yes, for Do you th- younger audience. Was it difficult to read this? Were there difficult words? No? The only one I can think of is technology. Okay. Which is pretty Because I don't remember you asking me to help you with any of the I don't really words. ask. I know you, you don't. I don't really ask. <laughs> what is your favorite part about these comics? Okay, so my favorite part about these comics is the history. The history that they have in them? Yep. This tells history. This tells history. Doesn't tell history. It doesn't? Doesn't tell history. Okay. Tells history. Okay, so some of them will tell more history than more the history others. Than those, and you enjoy that. Especially the dinosaurs one. Of course, yes. Because it's pretty <laughs> much history. Yes. Okay. Um, what don't you like about these? I don't know. Nothing that you can think of? Okay. Did no. No, okay. Would you recommend these to other children? One million percent. One million percent. Do you think that children that cannot read yet or cannot read efficiently will be able to enjoy these comics or do you think that they should wait till they know how to read by themselves? Well, wait until they know how to read a little bit because then they could always just read it with their parent. And then they could read what they know. They could read the words that they know. Then when they get stumped on a word, then the adult reads the rest. Okay, that's a good So technique. for like basic readers. That they might need to work with a, a partner. Adult. Okay. A partner. Somebody who knows how to read more than you. Okay. How does reading this book make you feel? I feel like I know much more. Okay. Same exact thing like The Week Junior. <clears throat> the same exact thing like The Week Junior? Same way. Okay. Um, that is the end of our review for Science Comics. You can uh, find these... At your library. At your library. You can find them on eBay, Amazon. Try to buy from a small bookstore if possible, um, or buy used if possible. Uh, but your lo- local library should have it. And if they don't have it, you should request it. It's a great resource, not just for homeschoolers, but for um, Anybody everybody. else. Yeah, everybody, I think, can benefit from it. Everybody has some sort of way to benefit from one book. Yes, that's true. All right. Thank you for watching. Salaam alaikum. Thank you for watching. Salaam alaikum. Science comics. Science comics.